the first female that I can remember just being enthralled by is Mary Lou Retton. I grew up idolizing Jenny Finch, uh, Lisa Fernandez, Dot Richardson, women like that who really were pioneers in the game of softball. Michelle Tafoya, Catherine Tappan, people that I would look up on the screens and see them covering uh, the biggest stories on the sidelines. I knew I wanted to get into sports when I watched them. But I remember being a kid and watching her in the Olympics with that red, white, and blue leotard and getting a perfect 10 on the vault and just her smile. and. I was just completely enamored. I wanted to be like her, I wanted to be her. Women who truly were pioneers in the game and it was awesome for me as a young softball player to watch these women uh, excel at a game that I loved so much and really kind of pave the way for other women and, and for the game in general. I wanted the kids on the playground to call me Marnie Lou. It did not stick. When I think about who inspired me when I was a young woman, I'm growing up and it will really be my mom and my grandmother who raised me. It was women who were in my own home, so first and foremost was my mother. The constant, the one that has been there forever and I feel like will be there forever, is my mom. Cared about making sure that they did what they needed to do to progress, but also cared about everybody. We're always fighting the fight to make sure that everyone had equal rights or, you know, everyone was treated kindly. Super fabulous woman, and she was a straight shooter, and she um, was able to give me a lot of confidence about how I needed to show up in life. And I just remember being so impressed by her work ethic and her determination and just, uh, just doing something that not everybody was doing at the time, so it's my mom.